Hi Aries, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be asking the cards, what are your person's feelings for the third party? Now, of course, this reading is not going to be for all of you. This reading is only for those of you who are currently dealing with someone who you know is involved with somebody else outside of their relationship or connection with you. I'm going to see what are their current feelings for that third party and also what are their current feelings for you, Aries, in comparison. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, these are general readings. They might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Keep in mind, uh, my readings are for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. And also, I wanted to say, please be careful of scammers that are out there pretending to be me. If you receive a message from someone offering you a personal reading, please be aware that that is not me. That is a scammer. Okay, so please be careful. All right, let's get started. Let's see. Spirit angels and guys, please show me. What are this person's current feelings for the third party, whoever it is that Aries is connecting to and dealing with in love? Thank you, Spirit. All right, let's see. First card we have here is the Page of Cups in reverse, the Ten of Pentacles, the Empress card, the Death card, the Ten of Swords, and the, um, the Empress, the Magician in reverse. Let's see at the bottom. At the bottom, we have Five of Wands with the Eight of Swords and the Five of Pentacles. All right, let's see what's going on here. Their feelings for the third party. Well, we have the death card and we have the 10 of swords. So there was an ending here between them due to some kind of conflict with the five of wands and arguments, a disagreement, a fight. Somebody got left out in the cold with the five of pentacles. We do have the Eight of Swords um, in regards to your person's current feelings. So this does show me that the, that your person is still thinking about this very heavily. When I say your person, it's just whoever you're dealing with, okay? It doesn't mean that you're in a relationship with them, just whoever you're dealing with in love, that's your person. So it does show me that they're still heavily conflicted about this and... Um, thinking about this this person occupies a lot of space in your person's mind this third party occupies a lot of space in your person's mind hmm. we do have the empress in reverse so stop um things stopped growing between them things stopped progressing between them Ten of Pentacles in reverse. There was a lack of commitment, a lack of stability. All right, let me see if I can figure this out a little bit more. Tell me about that Eight of Swords spirit. Two of swords in reverse and the seven of wands in reverse. Hmm. 
So your person doesn't really know if they should let this go or not. If they should keep fighting for this or not. The desire is kind of still there though. The desire to keep fighting for this relationship or connection with the third party is still there. But your person is not feeling very optimistic. Why are they not feeling optimistic about their relationship or connection with the third party spirit? What's the issue? What's the problem? So we have the Page of Swords and the Knight of Wands. So your person does feel like they're missing information. They feel like they don't have enough information. Yeah, there, here's that desire I was talking about. The Knight of Wands is kind of an, ener an energy of desire. So I do see that your person does have the desire to reach out to this third party and to reconnect with them. For what purposes, um, spirit? For what purposes do they want to uh, reach out and and or reconnect with the third party? What's the desire here? So we have Ace of Swords, which is about having a conversation and the world in reverse. Okay, so your person does want to have an important conversation, right? Because the Ace of Swords represents an important type of communication. And the world in reverse does represent unfinished business. So I do feel like there was some sort of falling out between them with the five of wands. Your person feels like there's unfinished business, unresolved conflict, unresolved issues. And it looks like your person wants to talk about it. Yeah. Your person does want to talk, talk about it with, um, with the third party kind of, and tell me about that Ace of Swords spirit. Wow, Knight of Swords. That's kind of aggressive communication. What else? Oh, I see. Knight of Swords and the Strength card in reverse. So it does look like your person is kind of bitter about something or upset about something, angry. The third party did something to upset your person and they're struggling to, to accept this ending. Your person is struggling to accept this ending because they still, your person feels like they still need some answers. It's almost like they still want at least like closure. They wanna, they don't, they wanna have some answers and they wanna get closure. But this looks kind of aggressive, so um, it does look like your person is accusing the third party of something. And your person is basically looking for the third party to confirm. To confirm what, what they're accusing them of. To confirm it or negate it. To confirm it if it's true and negate it if it's not true. Because I do feel like your person doesn't know all the information. They're just kind of assuming. Mm. 
but it looks like your person wants to wants to hear the truth from the third party's mouth, you know, if that makes sense. Tell me about that page of swords. Yeah, three of swords in reverse and the knight of cups. Wow. So three of swords is an energy of disappointment and heartbreak. I do feel like your person is feeling really disappointed and heartbroken over whatever happened between them and the third party. Um, there is a desire to, to resolve the conflict, to heal the situation, heal the relationship, heal the issues. But your person does feel kind of taken advantage of or lied to or deceived by the third party. And I do feel like your person wants to hear the truth. And if they don't get the truth from the third party, I feel like your person is not interested in, in continuing to, to or, or in furthering the relationship anymore. And continuing the relationship anymore. Hmm. Okay. I still don't really understand what exactly um, is their expectation here. Spirit, what does this person um, expect from the third party? Yeah, what expectations does this person have in regards to the third party? <clears throat> or like, you know, what outcome does this person desire with the third party? Page of Wands, again, with the communication, and it's a fire energy, so it goes with the Knight of Wands. Page of Wands and the Knight of Wands, yeah. Yeah, it's like your person still feels a lot of passion and, and desire for this third party, but it's it's like there's conditions, you know? there's It's not exactly that they're willing to just jump right back into a relationship with the third party, even though the desire is there. But your person is still kind of upset and hurt and wounded by something that happened, some sort of conflict that happened between them and the third party. And if they don't receive clear communication and honest truth from the third party, then your person is not going to entertain this relation, relationship anymore. So your, your person does want to, does have, desi have a desire to you know, reestablish a relationship with a third party, but it has conditions. There's, there's strict conditions that have to be met in order for that to, in order for your person to be willing to, to do that, to return back fully. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. All right, I'm going to continue and see um, what are your person's feelings for you in comparison. Let's see if we can get any um, most likely outcome here. What's the most likely outcome between this person and the third party spirit? Please show me. Most likely outcome outcome as of right now. We have the King of Cups, the Justice card, the Fool. Oh, okay. And the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. So most likely outcome is that um, your person, I feel like this is your person, this King of Cups. Yeah, I was feeling that energy from the beginning, actually. There, there is kind of a, there is a certain maturity 
that I'm fe uh, that I'm picking up on from your person. There's like an emotional maturity. I was picking that up from the beginning. That's why I said I feel like your person like it's like they want to be they want to be back with the third party, but they're not going to be playing games they're, or they're not going to be playing the same games. There's 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 strict conditions. There's boundaries that your person is placing. Especially here we have the justice card, which can represent boundaries. So I feel like with the fool card and the ace of pentacles, as of right now, the most likely outcome is that your person is going to walk away from this third party and accept it as a missed opportunity with the ace of pentacles in reverse. But I do feel like your person is still like open. It's like their heart is still open to this third party. But it looks like this third party is not responding um, the way your person feels like they deserve. Yeah, they're not responding in, in the way that your person wants them to. So your person is kind of taking the high road, basically. They're taking the high, ro high road and disconnecting here. Letting this go. So let's see. What are your person's feelings for you, Aries, in comparison? Let's see. Hold on. Let me see. Let me say it here. Spirit, how does this person currently feel about Aries? Please show me. Thank you so much. First card that came out is judgment in reverse. Might be dealing with a with an Aquarius or a Scorpio. We have nine of Pentacles. Could be a Virgo for some of you. The Moon, um, Cancer or Pisces. Ten of Wands, Three of Pentacles, King of Wands, fire sign energy, page of wands at the bottom, page of cups, and the world. All right, so in regards to their current feelings for you, Aries. Hmm. Definitely sensing ego here. Five of Pentacles, Eight of Swords, Seven of Cups, Knight of Swords, Ten of Pentacles, Lovers. Keep in mind that the person that um that I was um talking about in the beginning of the reading in regards to the third party, that could be you, okay? So if it resonates with you, then take that message. Sometimes roles can be reversed in these readings. I see that your person definitely wants to like work things out with you, Aries, with the King of Wands and the Three of Pentacles. They want to work something out with you. We do have the Ten of Wands, so... Um, uh, an ending or a separation might have happened between you two. And if that's the case, I do feel like they want to work things out with you. 
they're not very sure though nine of pentacles is here so this is someone who's been focusing on themselves focusing on their money their work their personal stability they've been thinking about you a lot with the moon card With the judgment card in reverse, I do feel like this person is like hesitant to, to reach out to you or to reconnect with you. But they can't stop thinking about you. So they feel like they're a little bit, um, they're at a crossroads or they're, they're going through a little bit of a dilemma here. Because it's like they don't want to expose themselves again with the judgment card in reverse. They don't want to expose themselves to going, going through a repeated cycle with you with the Ten of Wands. They feel like the relationship was a heavy burden in some way. But with the moon card, this person feels unexplainably attracted to you or connected to you or like called, called towards you, pulled towards you. It's like an emptiness that they feel inside and they can't, they can't help it to, to feel like you're that missing You're not you're that missing puzzle piece, you know, in their life. And I feel like this person is, has tried to exist without you. And be happy without you. But they they face themselves struggling. They find themselves struggling to, to do that because they, they feel like there's this emptiness that they can't quite fill. This person might be very like abundant in some way with the Nine of Pentacles. They might have a lot of abundance in their life prosperity, um, wealth, success. But what they're missing is that emotional connection with someone. And I feel like this is someone who misses the emotional connection that they used to have with you. And they feel really tempted to, to reach out to you and to kind of reopen reopen this window between you and them that was closed with the world. Okay, tell me, tell me more about the um, Nine of Pentacles spirit, Nine of Pentacles. We have Knight of Wands in reverse and the Seven of Swords. So this is someone who doesn't belong to anyone, basically. I feel like that's what they're telling me here. I feel like they're telling me I don't belong to anyone. I don't belong to Aries and I don't belong to the third party. You know, I belong to myself. Okay. And I feel like... I don't know about this person, Aries, because I'm getting like a superficial vibe from, the, from them. Because I, I felt like they were open to, to the third party. Like, they were open to them in the same way that I feel like they're open to you. But it feels superficial on both sides, you know? It feels like this person... is not really sure if they want to be in a relationship or not or if they would if if they would rather just be single
right now I feel like this person is more content in being independent and single and on their own. And they are looking for a connection with somebody, but it looks like they just, right now their intention is to keep it at a surface level, whether it's with you or with a third party, if that makes sense. Okay. So that's a little harsh, I guess, but you know, that's, that's the truth here of what I see. And I'm not seeing any, any strong passion here or, or desire to, to, get, to get fully involved with anybody. Looks like this person wants more of a company than anything else. Someone to keep them company, you know? All right, so hopefully that makes sense. I see that they are thinking about you a lot and that I feel like I see that they feel really attracted to you and really like, like I said, pulled towards you, like energetically pulled towards you with the moon. Um, but they, they haven't quite defined what it is that they feel for you, you know? They don't really have it de defined in their, in their mind what it is that they feel for you and what it is that they ultimately want with you. And as of right now, they feel like, they feel really comfortable with just being on their own, but they are missing that emo emotional connection with someone. However, I feel like this person, you know, it would take a lot of time and kind of patience before this person um, agrees to a commitment. I don't feel like it's impossible though. They could, they could agree to a commitment, but it would take them a lot of time. Yeah, it would take them quite some time to, to get there. Cause I see that they're very comfortable with just keeping to themselves. Okay. All right, Aries, I hope this helped you. And thank you so much for watching. If it did, please give me a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. Take care.